how many times does the graph of this quadratic equation, y equals 3x squared minus 8x plus 4, intersect the x-axis? Okay, so let's uh, write that trinomial down and factor the trinomial. And we have a choice of it doesn't intercept at all, once, twice, or three times. How many times does it intercept the x-axis? Well, let's factor this and see what it looks like. Now, no fuss factoring says to copy the 3x twice. Whatever that number is, copy it twice. And you say, well, that doesn't make sense. Why are you going to say 3 times 3 equals 3? And you're right. 3 times 3 is not 3. So we're going to have to throw away one of these 3s in a little while. Okay? But right now, no fuss factoring says copy it. And then we'll throw away a 3 in a couple minutes. Okay? No fuss factoring here. Now, um... The AC factoring, we want to multiply 3 times 4 and get 12. And this number right here, the negative 8, is going to be the sum of the numbers. Okay? So we did 3 times 4 and got 12, and then we put the negative 8 over here. Now what this diagram is showing me, I want two numbers here that um, whose product is 12, and whose sum is negative 8. Let me show you what I mean. Let's take the factors of 12. Well, that would be 1 times 12, wouldn't it? But since we want to get negative a number, we'll take negative 1 and negative 12. Okay? Now, negative 1 times negative 12 is 12. The product of those two is 12. But the sum of those two is negative 13. So this isn't going to work. So count with me. 1, 2... Okay, count 1, 2, and then we'll go to 3 in a minute, okay? Right now, 2 times 6 is 12, and negative 2 times negative 6 is 12, and negative 2 plus negative 6 is negative 8. So these are my two numbers I'm going to use. But just for the fun of it, count. Count 1, 2, count 1, 2, 3, okay? We're going to test these two out now. What's wrong with these two? We know this is my answer, but what's wrong with this one? Well, negative 3 times negative 4 is 12, but negative 3 and negative 4 is not negative 8. It's negative 7. So if this had been a 7x, I'd be using these two. Because we have negative 8, I'm using these two. So my two numbers are negative 2 and 6. The product of them, when you multiply them, you get 12, and when you add them, you get negative 8. Now, don't forget over here we did 3 times 3, and we're getting 3. We have to throw away a 3, remember? But right now, fill in the negative 2 here, and fill in the negative 6 here. Okay? And now, we're going to factor this. What do these have in common? Write it up here and factor it. Take out a 3. 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And remember what we said we had we had 3 times 3 here. 3 times 3 is not 3. I have to throw away a 3. And now when we factored that, we got our 3 right here. That's the 3 we're going to throw away. So when you factor this using no fuss factoring, you end up with this times this. Throw away the 3 and use these two um, binomials. So we factored this now, all right? Now, we know that equals 0, so the factors, when you multiply them, you get 0, don't you? Because this is the same thing as this, all right? Now, that tells me either this is 0 or this thing is 0, okay? Now, if x minus 2 is 0, then we could add 2 to both sides and solve it for x, in other words. x then equals 2. If this is 0, we can add 2, just like I did over here. We'll add 2. This time I'm getting 3x equals 2. Then to solve for x, I'll divide by the coefficient of the variable 3. I'll divide this by 3 and this by 3 so that x equals 2 thirds. All right? So I have the point 2, 0, because remember y was 0. y equals this and y equals 0, it says. This equals y. 
So x is 2, y is 0, x is 2 thirds and y is 0, okay? So there's your two intercepts. Where are they? The point 2, 0, is, there's 0, 0, and 1, 2, 0. And remember this is 0, 0, so go 1 to the right. That's 1, 0, but I don't want to go that far. I want to only go 2 thirds. So we're going to go like 2 thirds, 0, somewhere in there. Those are my two intercepts. That's where my quadratic equation crosses the uh, graph. It might look something like this, okay? All right? But it crosses twice, doesn't it? Okay, twice. Now, the answer is 2. What up here, just looking at this, would lead you to think the answer is 2? Do you see a 2 up here anywhere? Well, yeah, the degree is 2. So we're looking at this saying, well, if the degree is 2, it's going to cross twice. If the degree is 3, if this had been x cubed, you'd be looking at answer D. Well, let's look at that a little bit stronger here. Let's take an equation. That's a line, okay? And when x is 0, when x is 0, okay, plug a 0 in here y is 0 minus 1 so this point lies on this line right here okay and when x is 1 plug a 1 in here what's 1 minus 1 so that when x is 1 y is 0 so this is slanting upward to the right like this okay now what is the degree here what is the exponent on the x it's a 1, isn't it? How many times does this cross the x-axis? Once. Okay. So the degree here is 1. It crosses once. Uh, take a um, quadratic equation. If you plug negative 3 in here, you'll have negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Okay. 0 times this is 0. So when x is minus 3 y is 0 so there's one intercept another intercept can you guess what x has to be to turn this into 0 what does x have to be x has to be 1 doesn't it 1 minus 1 is 0 so when x is 1 y is 0 that's this point over here we're talking about a quadratic that crosses the x-axis twice right the intercept when you multiply these you're going to get this the degree of this is 2 and you have two intercepts okay so the degree is 2 it crosses twice what if you had three intercepts in other words when x is minus 3 negative 3 plus 3 is 0 this whole thing turns into 0 when x is minus 3 so there's one intercept. When x is 1, put a 1 right here. 1 minus 1 is 0 times all this stuff is 0. So we have another point right here at 1, 0. And guess what x has to be to turn this into 0? What does x have to be to turn this into 0? A 2, doesn't it? What's 2 minus 2? And if this is 0, then all of this is 0. Okay, so there's your third intercept. Okay. Looks something like this. And uh, when you multiply these, this times this is this. Okay. Times this. Okay. So you're going to take x squared. You're going to take your 2x. You're going to take your negative 3. You're going to put your x minus 2 right here. The x minus 2 goes on to the 2x. The x minus 2 goes on to the 3. We end up with x what? Cubed minus 2x squared. That takes care of these two. We have plus 2x squared for these two. Line them up. Minus 4x. And then we have minus 3x. Put it right down here. You have minus 3 times x. Put it right here. And put minus 3 times minus 2 is 6. So we end up with x cubed. These cancel. This gives you negative 7x and plus 6. What's the degree? 
three. Okay. You remember how many times it crossed back there? Remember how many times it crossed? Three times, didn't it? So when you multiply these, you get an x cubed. The degree is three. It crosses three times. Three times because the degree is three. All right. So that looks like that three times. Degree is three. So this has a degree of two. So we're going to pick two.